an invitational song to cancel those that would reach out. The group is led by Dr. Mimuna Kaderi, a psychiatrist. She's enlightening this crowd about mental issues and says mental illnesses can be diagnosed and most cases can be treated. The University of Lagos is chosen as the venue of the rally because of reoccurrences of suicides and suicidal attempts by its students. We are recording something strange to this environment in the last one year, whereby some of our students now go and take their own lives. You know, at least in the last uh, six months, we have recorded two, two cases. And uh, just this morning, a student was discharged, having attempted to take his own life you know, from the medical center. So, and we have so many students who are suffering from depression. In counseling, we have privacy and confidentiality. Whatever is discussed between the counselor and uh, the, cli the client is absolutely private, it's absolutely confidential, it's not to be shared, unless the client goes about saying, this is what I said. So they, they should feel free to come to us. This work is to sensitize students on this campus against mental illnesses, encouraging them not to bottle up their psychological problems, but seek help before it gets too late. Tosin Olaolua is a recovering alcoholic in other addictions. He says people with mental health problems can be cleansed and can live a normal life. I'm just coming out from a 15-year addiction to alcohol and marijuana particularly, and I have other substances I abuse. But like the, the issue was I suffered a lot of low self-esteem, um, depression, anxiety, and some other traumas. While the need to improve understanding of mental health and illness is vital, without integrating mental health treatment into existing primary health care system, little change will be achieved. Vivian Irikefe, TVC News, Lagos.